Good morning, you guys. I've already gotten my day started. I'll go ahead and give you guys a rundown on what I've already done since I've started my day already. This morning when I woke up, I had a glass of water with half of a squeezed lemon inside of it. I'll most likely use the other half of the lemon later on throughout some point of this day. I don't like doing a whole lemon at one time. I don't know, I don't like the way my body responds. Then I waited a few minutes after that. And then I had my cup of coffee. In a small bowl, I'm going to soak 10 pitted dates inside. The dates that I have are already pitted, but I'm just opening them up so that they can soak a lot more easier. I'm going to use a cup of warm water. I'm going to pour a cup of warm water over the dates and place a lid on top of the bowl. And I'm gonna let that sit for about an hour or two. Really only need to let them sit for at least 30 minutes, but I have things to do, so I'm gonna let them sit for a while. I'm gonna drain the water out, and then they're gonna be really nice and soft. It's gonna be easier for them to, um, it'll be easier for me to blend them in the blender, but I'm actually not blending them, I'm pulsing and then stirring it with the blender attachment and then it comes out like this soft looking texture. I'm gonna be using the pureed dates or I like to call it date jam to flavor my oatmeal. In a small pot, I'm adding two cups of unsweetened vanilla coconut milk and I'm gonna let that boil and then add in my dry oats. I'm gonna let the oats cook for a bit and then I'm going to add in a little bit of vanilla extract, stir it in, and cook my oatmeal for about, say, 20 minutes. And then after it's done cooking, I'm gonna let it sit for about two minutes to cool down. To top off my oatmeal, I'm gonna be using a whole banana, the date jam that I made, or the parade dates. I'm going to add a bit of pumpkin seeds and just a little bit of coconut milk. And I sprinkled a bit of Ceylon cinnamon and that completes my breakfast. So I did go to the gym and after the gym I had a protein shake and I usually don't do snacks but today I did. I'm going to eat two rice cakes and to top them off I'm going to spread some all natural peanut butter and some organic fresh strawberries. To add some more nutrients to my snack, I'm going to top it off with this Super Seed Mixture by Live, Live Fit Superfoods, and that completes my snack. For lunch, I'm going to be making tacos. For a meaty texture, I'm going to add in my favorite meatless crumbles. And for more protein, I'm going to be using pinto beans. I'm going to add in some rice. The rice is going to make it more of a complete protein along with the Seaton crumbles. For my veggies, I'm gonna have some tomatoes, some shredded lettuce, and an avocado. I could not decide if I wanted to use the sprouted corn tortillas or some freshly made corn tortillas that I bought at the grocery store, so I decided to do both just to, I don't know, try them both out. I think the sprouted corn tortillas had more nutrition in them or they're a bit more healthier. But these are all the ingredients that I'm gonna add into my tacos. I did heat up the tacos as you saw on the skillet for a few minutes on each side and then just place all of my ingredients inside of the tacos um, I didn't really measure anything out I just kind of eyeballed things and yes I did eat all four tacos okay so I'm getting ready to shower and I'll be washing my hair Keeping my hair moisturized can be a challenge since I stay active in the gym, so I like to use my customized hair products from Function of Beauty. These products have been made with a unique formula created just for my hair. Since my hair is naturally dry, I created my formula to deep condition, hydrate, nourish, replenish, and strengthen my hair. I have customized my shampoo, conditioner, and leave-in conditioner on functionofbeauty.com by taking a two-minute quiz on their website about my hair type, hair goals. I'm also able to personalize my bottles by choosing the fragrance, the strength of the fragrance, the color, and I get to name the bottles. Using these personalized products have made my hair care wash routine more efficient by making my hair feel smooth during and outside of the wash process. This has reduced breakage and has made detangling a lot easier. I like how the leave-in conditioner keeps my hair hydrated, moisturized, and soft between washes. 
All of the bottles come with pumps for an easy use and are all vegan, cruelty-free, and do not contain any parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or toxins. And they also have travel size bottles for your convenience. They are giving you guys 20% off of your first order by clicking the link below in the description box. And thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video. Okay, so for dinner, I'm gonna be making me a salad. I'm gonna use two large handfuls of spring mix. For my protein, I'm gonna add in some sauteed tofu. And I also sauteed a bit of mushrooms and some water and I'm gonna add those to my salad as well. I cut up some cucumbers and some fresh organic tomatoes to add in to my salad too. And for healthy fats, I'm gonna add half an avocado. I'm gonna be using a Mediterranean salad dressing by Mother Raw, it's vegan as well. That's what it looks like up close. I'm going to add half of a squeezed lemon. I'm gonna take out the seeds and then squeeze a little juice in there and mix it up and then top off my salad and that completes my dinner y'all i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful for those interested don't forget to check out the description box for the function of beauty 20 percent off deal i love you guys and see you next video